What's going on you guys? I am Mitchell with Mitchell's Lawn Care located in Colfax, North Carolina. Thanks for tuning into the channel today. If you clicked on the video, it's because you would love to see the inside of my new shop. So I'm not going to waste any time. Let me show you around this thing. Alright y'all, so some of you guys have already seen in here, okay, because the Spencers spoiled it for me. I'm just kidding. Uh, I loved hosting them here the other day. Uh, if you would like to check out their little walkthrough of my shop, I'll throw their video up here in the corner. Make sure to check that out, okay? But I wanted to do a shop tour uh, on my channel, of course, uh, because I'm going to cover a lot more details, uh, the ins and outs of this place that were not on their video. Okay, uh, the why I did some things, the why I didn't do some things, um, and just, again, just more in-depth coverage, okay? Now, bear with me that when we start walking through this thing, uh, some of the stuff in here uh, is not going to stay in here. Uh, right now, Han and I are in a kind of in-between phase. Uh, you may hear some hammering and stuff in the background. That's because our new home is being built, but... That leads me into the fact that this place is also going to double as a storage building for stuff while we move from location to location, okay? And this place is still kind of under construction, if you will. There's a lot of things that are planned that are forthcoming that, you know, if lumber prices ever stabilize, I don't know that they will, but there's a whole lot of things that are going to change in here that I'm going to talk to y'all about today, alrighty? So, let's walk around this thing. All right, you guys, so there's no surprise of what's behind me. This is the MLC blade sharpening area. Uh, I know so based on the, the, the lens and stuff, a lot of the stuff that I talk about as long as I'm in the frame is going to be blurry. But anyways, behind me is the MLC blade sharpening setup. There's already been a couple videos on my channel at this point about this new setup so i'm not going to dive into any details right here but anyways this is where all of the mlc blade sharpening action takes place and it is positioned just beside the 12 by 14 center door okay i went with the 12 by 14 because thinking long term if there's ever an rv or something like that that needs to be brought in here a boat whatever any kind of recreational vehicle there's plenty of room okay even if it's not something that hannah and i have it's definitely a resale um, value point, okay? So 12 by 14 door. That leads me into the other one, 12 by 10, okay? And that is one of two 12 by 10 doors. The other one is at the back to serve as a drive-through for the truck and enclosed trailer, okay? Come in from the back, pull in, unhook, and leave, okay? Makes things a lot easier. Hopefully this will focus. Anyways, so moving on around entry door okay so this is one of two entry doors that you will see right next to the entry door is my new workbench area i'm super excited i'm probably going to say super excited 52 and a half times so just bear with me okay but this whole area right here behind me is my workshop area and uh, i'm very pumped to have this there's many reasons why i designed things the way i did okay yes uh, I'm very organized. You can say OCD. I'm okay with that, but I like to know where things are at. I like to see where things are at. I'm a creature of habit, okay? On the wall, what looks like black pegboard. This is the OmniWall USA system. I am not going to dive into any details about this system and why I chose it just yet because that is a whole nother video. I can sit here and talk to you all day about why I chose this and everything it does but that's what I chose to organize all of my tools okay so this right here is a 12 foot long workbench okay eight foot over there for MLC blade sharpening and this is a work table that I mounted on four rolling wheels so I can move this thing anywhere in the shop for whatever reason if I need to work on something 
uh, in the back of the shop, in the front of the shop, outside the shop, whatever. This thing can be wheeled anywhere and everywhere. So if I'm not mistaken, this is five feet by six feet. I got the idea for the rolling work table from a YouTube video that I saw here, okay? Uh, the Both of my workbenches were styled after the workbench that was in my 12 by 24 um, shop that uh, some of you may have seen, the facility that I moved here from. So a lot of the design cues and everything I stole from that building because it worked for me for I think five years. Really loved it and that's why I went with the same exact setup, okay? So the details of it, there's a shelf that runs the full length of the bottom, okay? The work surface area on top is 24 inches, and that's a great uh, distance. That way, if you're standing up next to the workbench, you don't have to lean over to, to get something, okay? Uh, so it's just a natural reach. If you're standing here, you can reach to the back of the workbench without having to bend over, okay? And everything is right at, I think, three feet, 36 inches from the ground, okay? Um, what else? So approximately four feet, um, four to five feet uh, from the workbench to the top. So it allows me to put stuff on the shelves up here, okay? Now, fast forwarding, moving around. I've got a 50 foot uh, electrical reel right here that's retractable, um, outlets and the controls for my high performance fan. Okay, let me turn the music off so I don't get a copyright violation. So outlets, got plenty of outlets here in the shop. And what else? Oh, uh, I'm gonna put an air system, I'm probably jumping ahead of myself, but I will have a full air system here in the shop. So there will be access points. Um, throughout the shop, two on this side, two on the other side, and I'm actually gonna put one out on the front outside to, to access air, okay? So in the meantime, I stole my little uh, air compressor from my other shop, so it's sitting here between the infamous sticker toolboxes, okay? So these are my US General toolboxes from Harbor Freight. Uh, they are very affordable in the world of toolboxes. I've had zero issues with them and they serve as a great uh, foundation for sticker swaps, which started several years ago with the very first one, Fall River, okay? So if you guys out there watching this video uh, have given me a sticker, it is on one of these toolboxes somewhere. Uh, if you have not and you would love to send me your sticker, and it doesn't have to be green industry related, whatever you're doing, uh, if you've got a sticker that represents you or what you do, uh, I would love to feature it on my toolbox. And you can send me your information, name, address to MLC, I'll put a little title right here, MLCmerch336 at gmail.com. And we will communicate back and forth and I'll send you my sticker as well. So, behind me, this is the full workshop area. That's my little, the little nook in here where I can work on things, uh, et cetera. You know, handheld stuff, stuff that needs to be like right here in front of you. All right, so fast forwarding along. Next to the workshop area, this is going to be pretty much a like storage area, okay? Or uh, access point for shelves, whatever, random stuff. You know, so got all kinds of uh, paints, lubricants, soaps, all that stuff, ratchet straps, fuel cans. Uh, I have already ordered, this is a six foot long shelf. I've already ordered another one to go right here. So this will kind of serve as like a, like a utility room area for now. Um, like I said before, there's a bunch of stuff just randomly laying around because I don't have a place for it just yet. So uh, bear with me on that. Uh, I've only been in this place for a couple months and you know, things take money, obviously. But anyways, so next to the shop, this is just random storage access area, okay? Moving along, next to the random storage area, this is all my seasonal equipment and backup equipment. And eventually, if you go over here, boom, right there, 
Uh, in this area right here, I will be constructing a utility closet, okay, that will house a lot of this stuff that you see laying here on the floor, okay? I'm going to build some shelves and racks and stuff like that to hang everything up, get it off the floor, organize it, whatever, and gain this area back because that leads me into my next point. You know, I know I'm flying through this because I don't want this video to be an hour long. But uh, eventually there will be a second floor in this shop. That's why I went with 16 foot eaves. So right in this area, if you can kind of see that, that wind brace, that angle, there will be a staircase that will be built to go up. So some of this stuff's gonna have to move regardless because there'll be a staircase here, okay? And then my seasonal equipment that is thrown over right here, um, that's where a room is going to be built. Uh, we're going to have stacked rooms. Um, not sure the exact dimensions just yet, but uh, whatever we decide on for the first floor, we will mirror for the second floor uh, with a vaulted ceiling to kind of follow the pitch of the roof. Okay. Um, and what we're planning to do in there, if you're wondering, is um, it's going to be a gym facility. So we'll have weights, machines, and all that stuff on the first floor and then upstairs will be your cardio stretching calisthenics things like that okay so we won't have as much we won't have like plate weight or stuff upstairs and then the whole loft or mezzanine area will run the length of that purlin all the way over the workshop area that will be a loft mezzanine area where we plan to, along that wall up there, plan to do shelving and storage. And it will also extend our gym facility. We'll do AstroTurf, so you can do walk-in lunges, squats, stuff like that. And then at the very, very end, I may do a little sitting area with a couch, chairs, uh, whatever, a little mini fridge or something like that. So that's what we're planning in the corner right here. Some of this stuff I've already gone over in my uh, steel building construction videos. Uh, so some of you may have been following that process along. Um, I'll throw that playlist up here in the corner. If you've missed the construction of all this, I know I have new subscribers since those videos were put out. So if you've missed the, the progress up to this point, I will have that card up there. Check that video out at the end. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, then you would know kind of how this all started. Um, and if you're enjoying the video right now, I know I'm only halfway through it, but give the video a big old thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel would be even more awesome or greater. So, alrighty, moving along. Random stuff right here, boxed up. Uh, this is things that we have boxed up from our house. So once we move into the new place, all this junk will get out of here uh, as well as uh, my motorcycles, these will move into the uh, garage of the home uh, because this is where I want to build the walk-in um, like utility closet that I told you about, okay? Um, we've got outlets in many different locations. You know, one of the tips from uh, people before I built this place was outlets, outlets, outlets. You can never have too many outlets. And that is true because I've already run into a little issue in one area where I thought I had plenty and I've already maxed them out. So. Luckily in a facility like this where there's not studded walls and drywall and all that crap, it's really easy to add things later with, you know, exposed uh, walls and beams and things like that, okay? Um, because, you know, you can see behind me, you know, the electrical is really not hidden, so it's really easy to access, okay? Alrighty, let's walk over to this side now. Like I said before, this is a 12 by 10 uh, back door, and I've got door operators on the drive-through doors um, you can't see the other one uh, but the center 12 by 14 is still manual um, right here is my enclosed trailer so if you want to check it out in more detail you can check out Spencer's video but anyways that's my enclosed trailer uh, or check out my Instagram account or check out my 2021 setup put a card in the window right cha for you anyways right here 60 gallon um, Quincy compressor. Uh, it is not hooked up at the moment. I got this from Northern Tool. Uh, I do have power ran to it, so that's already ready to go. Got my plug right there. Uh, but eventually, uh, probably this fall or this winter, uh, I plan on getting this all hooked up, getting the, the base done right, 
and running all of my airlines throughout the shop uh, which was that blue coil right there on the shelf so I've got 300 feet of airline to run throughout the shop okay um, this side of the building between the trailer and the wall is kind of no man's land right now there's really no rhyme or reason why anything is over here um, it's just the only place I could put it for now so uh, I've got my green barrels for landscape cleanups and stuff my X mark 30 uh, random wheelbarrow uh, ramps for my old building uh, some mountain bikes and just random random stuff got some construction materials from the shop being built that I still need to get rid of um, up here I'm gonna hang some banners uh, from from brand sponsorships so I'm gonna hang some banners up there just to show my support for for those people um, and I would like to do something eventually where I can show my support for each and every one of you guys uh, in the form of something that Acme Mullen has done in their their shop Ben and KH over there at Acme Mullen. I really love those guys um, If you haven't checked out their channel definitely give them a subscribe But Ben in his shop on one side has got all the t-shirts from guys that have sent him shirts and I would love to be able to feature something like that you know along one of these walls right here or hell even you know going up even higher and and mounting them because I've got a lot of space you know up on the other side over there where I can hang stuff so you know if you want to send me a shirt uh, I'll definitely definitely take that and reciprocate the uh, the love back to you by displaying it here in my shop so if you want to send me one again shoot me your information at MLC merch 336 at gmail.com um, right here in the center of the shop is you know a, a work area you know I can pull my mowers out clean blades chains blades do oil changes preventative maintenance on my tractor um, I do plan to keep my tractor in here full time uh, even though I do have a lean-to outside that's going to serve as storage for my trailers but I don't plan on keeping implements in here I do have my box uh, my box blade in here right now I just had to pop it off real quick the other day to, to pull a trailer with the tractor but I do plan on keeping my tractor in here out of the element elements this is the the Yanmar SA 424 um, I've done a video on it here on the channel you can check it out but I um, want to keep it in here but I've got this large space here in the center of the building that I plan to keep open for now all of my seasonal equipment that's right there eventually is going to have to get pulled out and probably sit somewhere here in this center area once all things are said and done I wish that I had a like a forklift or a bobcat or something like that where I could put things on pallets and put them up on pallet shelf like aerators leaf blowers um, the wall behind leaf blowers push blowers because it would be really really cool to have like pallet shelving in here and be able to get that stuff up you know onto shelves um, I've got pallet forks that I can put on the bucket of the Yamor but it's just a little baby tractor and doesn't have the lift capacity it only lifts 1200 pounds so um, I think it would lift a lot of that stuff but it lacks the the lift height to be able to get it to where I want it so kind of hindered on that but that's kind of a quick walkthrough of the shop um, the enclosed trailer will always be in here so that's where it will stay from now on the uh, my truck will you know eventually live in the garage of the house but that's kind of the plans for that so uh, I've got all LED lighting um, each light is 22,000 lumens um, the fan is a 14 foot uh, high performance fan from the high performance fan company Let's see if I can zoom in on that bad boy it is great 
for getting air moving in this shop. I had it custom painted orange because orange is my favorite color. But anyway, they're located here, or not here, they're located in Ohio. And Jim, the owner of the company, has actually been so kind. The fans are not cheap. I'm not going to lie, y'all. The fans are not cheap. But he's been so kind as to extend a discount to you guys. If you've got a space that you need a fan like that, um, he'll give you 30% off if you just mention MLC to him. He's been super, super great to work with. And that right there is a blessing because it's hot as you know what outside. But it's very comfortable in here because the, the air is moving. So um, there's a lot of plans for the shop. There's a lot of things left to do. I want to put uh, the exhaust fans in the top to you know pull some of the heat out in the, the dead of summer and you know also fumes and stuff like that if I'm running machines in here but you know we got the second floor planned the rooms planned but all that stuff takes money and right now the house I mean this was you know pricey enough but the house is you know um, going up right now so uh, I can give you a little sneak peek of that too well not a sneak peek it's already been here on the channel but they're really rocking and rolling with it so there's the house got the roof going on but that's the shop so what else can you expect to see from me about this place any new construction that goes on in here I'll share it with you guys uh, I'm gonna do a full video on the Omni wall it's an awesome system so I want to want to share case or, or share that with you guys and, and showcase it to you um, but I know everybody doesn't watch the videos you know I've told everything about this shop multiple times but new people joining in new subscribers people that aren't subscribed whatever I can't expect people to watch every single video it's just not gonna happen um, I think I got a spider web on the screen on the lens yep but uh renegade steel building 50 by 60 inside 12 by 60 lean to on the outside the concrete apron on the front is 25 by 50 okay and got a complete drive around i'm not going around the, the outside right now but got a got a complete gravel drive around that comes in the back side obviously and uh that's pretty much it right now so uh, i know everybody's going well, what's the cost what's the cost so i'm going to cover that later i will do a uh, full disclosure video on the cost of the shop but hey I don't want to spill my beans in every single video, so I've got to have some content for, for some other time. So, anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions about something you saw, please let me know. And I'm, I'm super excited to be in this facility. I do want to re reiterate the fact that this is not what you need to start a business, and you don't need this to be in business. This is not where I started, full disclosure. Duh. Um, when I started, I had an 8x10 shed. So listen, uh, check out my video on the story of Mitchell's Lawn Care, and you'll hear about where I started. It took me 12 years of hard work, dedication, sacrifice, you name it, to get to where I am right now, okay? So, uh, and it didn't happen off the backs of workers, okay? Uh, it happened off of my own blood, sweat, and tears, and the, the guys that I had on my team in the process. But... Uh, nothing's nothing is given to you if you want something like this get out there and go get it all right hope you guys have a wonderful day enjoy your weekend coming up and uh yeah we'll see you next video and make sure to browse the channel